Hey guys, welcome back to the Curly Reader. Um, my name's Amanda, and today I'm going to go to the library. Alright, so it is that inconspicuous week between Christmas and New Year's where time does not exist, and we've had some stuff going on at home, and we just have not gotten out and around and stuff, so I decided to take myself on a date to by myself to the library. So I thought maybe I would take you guys with me and show you around a little bit and show you a little bit of a haul when I get done. So let's go. So, I am home. I have my books. I figured I'd show you what I got. Um, that was actually a lot of fun. I don't get to go in and just like browse just by myself very often and just pull whatever I want off the shelves. I normally just put stuff on hold and pick it up. Um, but yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, okay, 
what I got. Let's start with books I got for my kids. So I have a second grader who is struggling a little bit with reading. And so I'm always on the lookout for books that will encourage her to read. Um, and so the first ones that I picked up for her are called Bean Dog and Nugget. I got the ball and the cookie. I got two of these. They are very simple, kind of graphic novel, um, early reader sort of books. We'll see. I... I'm just trying, kind of trying all the things. The other ones that I got for her are Mr. Monkey. Um, she really, really loves Elephant and Piggy. Those are her favorite. And so I'm trying to find things that aren't Elephant and Piggy because she's memorized most of them. Um, and these ones seemed very similar. I have Mr. Monkey Visits a School. And so it's kind of like this. And then there's also voice bubbles and things like that. So I have Visits a School. And then I also have Takes a Hike. So those are the ones that I got for her. Um, one of my like favorite booktube channels to watch to get middle grade and children's recommendations from children's book recommendations from is Colby Sharp. He's a teacher. He makes videos I, primarily for teachers, but I watch him all the time because I think what he has to say and I really trust his judgment on books. Um, but he did his like top five picture books of the year. And so I've been getting into more reading picture books just for me. I don't necessarily get them for my kids. I get them mostly just for me because I think the illustrations are really pretty. Um, so I picked up his, I think most of them, I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got all of them. So, okay. We have The Rock from the Sky by John Klassen. I don't know what any of these are about, but they look fun. So I, I don't know. Um, Watercress, he said, was his favorite picture book possibly ever. And it just looked really pretty. Oh, let me get a... It's about somebody picking watercress, it looks like. Um, all right, we have... Oh, that one wasn't one of them. That was from something else. So I got four of them. Uh, Walk in the Woods by Hudson Talbot. This, I think, is about um, kids with dyslexia, possibly. Um, and so, yeah, that one looked really interesting. And then also Wishes. This one is by Yuan Tivan. Ooh, guys, I butchered that. But they just they look so, like so much fun. So those are the picture books that I got. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. All right, um, middle grade, I picked up two. Um, the first of which is Kiki Kaliri, Kiki Kalira Breaks a Kingdom by Sangu Mandana. Um, this one I heard about from Amy Bowman, um, her channel. She got it in a book subscription box. And ever since I saw her get it, I thought that my oldest daughter would really like it because this is about a girl with anxiety who draws a lot, which is pretty much my daughter. Um, and then she ends up like going into the world of her drawings and doodles and having to like defend a kingdom sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it sounded really interesting, so I grabbed that one. And then I also got Starfish by Lisa Phipps. Um, this is a book that I'm going to be reading as part of a new book club I'm part of in January. Um, this is a middle grade book in verse that is about a um, young girl, Ellie, who's overweight and getting teased and bullied a lot because of it. And yeah, so it's just about her learning how to accept herself and um, own her space and that sort of thing. So those are the two middle grade books I picked up. I got one YA book, which I didn't realize this was YA. Um, I'm pretty sure that this was on my most anticipated releases of the fourth quarter. And yeah, so this is Bluebird by Sharon Cameron. I didn't realize this was YA. Um, but this is uh, 1946. So after World War II, it says that uh, Eva leaves behind the rubble of Berlin for the streets of New York City. Um, stepping from the fiery aftermath of one war into another far colder one. So it's about the Cold War. Um, she holds the key to a deadly secret, Project Bluebird, a horrific experiment of the concentration camps capable of tipping the balance of world power. So both the Americans and the Soviets want, want her secret, um, and it's something that neither of them should ever be allowed to possess. So sounds really good. I'm excited to read that one. I picked up two graphic novels. Um, the Both of these I'm pretty sure were um, nominated for the Goodreads 
graphic novel annual awards or whatever. The first is Lore Olympus. Um, this is by Rachel Smythe. Um, and I had seen this one around on a lot of people's channels. And I think it's a webcomic that just got um, bound into a book. Um, but I am excited to read it. I think it is a like Hades Persephone retelling something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a webtoon uh, that got uh, it says the volume is episodes one through 25 of the webtoon. So got that one. And then the other one I got is in love and pajamas. And this is by Katana comics. Um, I t this seems like it's the same person that did book love, um, possibly, but I think it's all about like relationships and yeah. Um, just different relationship moments and so I thought that'd be cute. It's more of a comic than a graphic novel but that's okay. And then I have three adult books. Um, one historical fiction and two like romance contemporary things. Um, oh, so the first historical fiction I think this was on my most anticipated list also this year and that's A Woman of Intelligence um, by Karen Tanabe and this is about a woman in 1954 New York City like she used to she knows four languages she's Ivy League educated um, and she ends up she is now the wife of a pediatric surgeon um, and she is approached by the FBI and asked to join their ranks as an informant and so a man from her past has become a high-level Soviet spy but no one's been able to infiltrate his circle and so they want her to do it and so yeah I'm excited for that um, the first contemporary one I picked up is The Royals Next Door by Karina Hale. Um, and this is about an elementary school teacher by day and a, um, it says, uh, I can't read it, the, nah, the stickers on, on it, an anonymous cod podcaster by night. Um, she takes care of her mother and she's happy with how things are until the British Royals um, rent the property next to hers and their brooding bodyguard decides she's a security threat. She quickly realizes that one person's fairy tale in, is an ordinary woman's nightmare as a media frenzy takes over the island and each run-in with the bodyguard is, uh, yeah, she keeps running in with the bodyguard. Um, so anyway, it just sounds fun. And then the last one I got, which I'm very excited about, is No Words by Meg Cabot. You guys, I totally dropped this in a mud puddle. Like, <laughs> when I was trying to bring it into my house, like, oh my goodness. So I'll have to let the library know that. Oops. Um, but anyway, this is No Words, Meg Cabot. This, I, this is so excited about. I read the first little bit of this when I was at the library. It's about a children, so middle grade writer who swore that she would never return to this little island as long as her nemesis, who's another best-selling author, lives there. Um, but she ends up being invited to a their, uh, library there, the library there's first ever book festival, and she can't turn it down because she needs the money. And so he, she thinks that he's not going to be there because he's going to be somewhere else, but then he ends up being there. Shock. And so it's about that. So it's like Hate to Love, I'm pretty sure, with a children's author and another author and a book festival and libraries. And guys, I just, I can't. It just sounds too perfect. It's probably going to be really cheesy. I don't even care. I think this is the first one I'm going to read because it just sounds like fun. So anyway, those are the books I picked up from the library. Um, what are some books that you've picked up recently? Have you read anything that I have? Let me know all the things. If you have any suggestions for my daughter, um, let me know that as well. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little outing. And yeah, I that's going to do it for today. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya. Mm -hmm.